Let's review the process for migrating Wowza Streaming Engine to a new server instance. This only applies for check-in license keys and servers with an identical setup. We'll be demonstrating this on Linux. First, stop your Wowza Streaming Engine and Wowza Streaming Engine Manager on your current instance. This is to avoid being charged for two running instances for a subscription key or from getting a startup error if you have a perpetual key. Next, make a backup of the entire installation. We're going to be using this backup to migrate your settings to the new server instance, so it's important to back them up to a safe location. From this backup, you'll also need to remove the jmxremote.access file from the config directory. Now on your server computer, run the latest Wowza Streaming Engine setup to install a new instance of Wowza Streaming Engine Media Server. To get the latest version of Wowza Streaming Engine, go to wowza.com and under the download link, locate the installer you need. From your backup, copy these seven folders recursively to the new server instance. These are the main files you'll use to migrate your settings over. On the new server instance, you'll also need to delete the server and admin.guid files from the config directory. Now we'll need to test the Wowza Streaming Engine server instance. Again, this process assumes we're moving to a new server instance with an identical setup. Restart Wowza Streaming Engine and Wowza Streaming Engine Manager services for the new server instance. Once all basic functionality and applications are fully tested, as well as configurations verified, you can uninstall your old Wowza Streaming Engine software. If you're uncertain of the uninstall process, please review the URL below. This article is also great to get additional guidelines for both unique situations and the process for migrating Wowza Streaming Engine to a new server instance on another operating system. Well, that's it from Wowza. Thanks for watching.